health needs and all that. So that's also another very important. It's one of the most optimum birth rates in the developing world now. And um, the LDCs actually had made quite good progress on the SDGs attainment until COVID came. And I think co what COVID did was, COVID-19 pandemic took back the development progress, especially on the SDGs for the LDCs by a decade or more. The, the initial years of Bangladesh, I come from Bangladesh, you may have guessed by now. Huh? <laughs> and uh, uh, what we invested then in other productive sectors. So I think food self, reaching food security or food self-sufficiency was one of the... Because there can be no sustainable recovery, there can be no Agenda 2030, uh, to celebrate in 2030 if those who are furthest behind are left behind, and that is the LDCs. Microcredit, and more than 90% of their clients were women. So, so if you're looking at the Doha program of uh, action, the document, it has some very clear uh, priority areas. And those priority areas are all sort of geared towards developing the capacity of the LDCs themselves so that their aid uh, dependence can be reduced. Instead, their capacity for trade and investment, that enhanced. What happened was, when they were more aware, they were in a better bargaining position.